my brother was diagnosed with a brain tumor, uh, glial carcinoma from the same side of the head he used as his cell phone, and his uh, brain surgeon is totally convinced that it's caused. He's he's got so much pa patients coming in now that with brain tumors on the same side of the head that they use their cell phone is just obvious to him. And it, Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Tom Wheeler. Thank you very much, John. Oh, I was hoping you would leave that gavel behind. Hey, <laughs> Tom, how many people have to die from brain cancer before the federal government puts warning labels on cell phones? How many people, how many young ladies have to die from breast cancer because there's no warnings and they don't know and they're keeping it in their bra? How many people have to get electro-hypersensitive from the smart grid and have to be driven from their communities? How many? How many does it take? A million? You enjoy buying your, your position from Obama? How much do you pay? A million? People dying? Is that just collateral damage? Collateral damage? How many people have to die? Profit! God, it's great to be here. <laughs> um, there can be no better thing than here at the uh, museum. Yeah, we're going to explore her after, please. And I'm grateful to John. In describing my regulatory philosophy, and it deals with cancer, cancer, cancer. When's the FCC going to warn innocent children about getting brain tumors? This is a no, sophisticated Hawaiian Holocaust we're exhibiting. How long are you going to experiment with people's lives without real safety snares in place? It's time. It's time to tell the American public the truth. Wireless causes cancer. You're killing hundreds and you don't care. You don't give a damn. Yes, he does. Thank you, sir, for leaving that comment over there where he said yes, he did. I'm going to go off script. Um, you're right. I do. We have a responsibility. One of the things that our agency is doing is receiving the scientific information from scientific agencies to be able to set standards at acceptable safety levels. We have historically done that. We will continue to do that because safety is a paramount concern for all of us. Tom, you delivered a million dollar bribe to the Obama administration, which led to your appointment. We're going to you on. represented the industry for 12 years, and that's all you're going to represent from here on out. You will not represent the public. You will only represent the corporations. And I will not stop until I leave this room. Your exposure stands I'm going to ask you, uh, you uh, a question, Do not protect the public health. And you need to make sure that you fix that. You know, it's interesting to me that you're uh, 